A recent rash of shootings in the corridor has a lot of people working to cut down on gun violence. But exactly how to do that varies depending on who you ask. CBS 2 News reporter Jason Hackett got some local insight and joined us now with his Connects Against Crime report. Jason. Yes, Scott and Tiffany, the two men I spoke to today speak at gun violence prevention rallies. One of them has seen the effects of the violence firsthand as he tries to save lives in ER. The other one has a cousin who committed suicide, and both are very passionate about the cause. Even after years of working in the ER, it never gets easier for Brian Cavell. Personally, I've experienced many people dying from gun violence. The trauma nurse has worked at the University of Iowa hospitals and clinics since 2007 and has been in many tense operating rooms as patients get wheeled in after being shot. Gunshot wounds cause a lot of damage to the body. And you can lose a lot of blood really quick. Sometimes it goes in and moves around, hits multiple organs. Between 2007 and 2012, the hospital has seen 210 people come in for gunshot wounds. 61 were from assault, 75 were self-inflicted. Of the 210, 39 of them died. Cavell says while Iowa still ranks behind other states in gun violence. This is a problem. And this is something that we need to get the word out on. He's one of the many voices rising up in the community on the cost of gun violence. Another belongs to Reverend Tom Capo with the People's Church Unitarian Universalist. His church houses not only different religions, but also different opinions on guns. The people are, are against gun violence. How to go about changing that is going to be very different. Capo says it's likely impossible to completely get rid of gun violence. But there are some things we can help. Well, I think there needs to be laws on the books about teaching people who have guns how to use them safely, how to keep them away from their children, how to protect them from people who have mental Ill illness. There will be a march and street cleanup in Cedar Rapids this Saturday against gun violence over on 15th Street and 1st Avenue at noon. Now the idea here is to get people together to exchange more ideas on how to stop these tragedies. Jason Hackett, CBS 2 News, 10 at 10.